one of the first uh, friends that uh, we knew uh, in uh, in the uh, we can say uh, country of uh, Kurdistan that she could share with us like the meaning of genealogy, the meaning of the woman's freedom, the woman's revolution, and also how a woman to uh, solve their own problems, they can organize together, they can change their mentality, they can love each other because uh, Nagihan was a person that she was a lot loving all the women. And also even maybe we were coming from different geography, different um, culture, directly you feel connected to her because she uh, was uh, connecting with her thought and with her heart. We need to keep every time our values uh, of freedom very high and to uh, make like uh, our work that we can every time ask more and more women. And so I was every time thinking that in front of all the uh, darkness in this world, how uh, Heval uh, Nagihan, she could uh, really, really keep every time uh, the um, beautiful approach that she had. And uh, for me, it's really what we called also kind of a uh, principle of the uh, mother goddessness. Uh, because, you know, uh, also in our culture in Europe, I think also maybe in Middle East there is this culture, uh, there is this um, this uh, uh, goddess of, uh, we say like chance, like luck and uh, fortune. And a lot of people think that it's for uh, like, um, like for uh, money, but actually it's totally not like this. It's like there are like this good energy, this positive energies that can uh, really change a lot of things around a person, around like in a situation also. And so for me, uh, when I was uh, speaking with Heval Nagian about that, uh, like for me, she was uh, my kind of uh, chance to show the truth of Nagihan and the truth of uh, the uh, col colonization forces that are trying to continue the colonization of Kurdistan and that now are targeting uh, every time like the um, woman, Kurdish women that they are fighting for freedom with their uh, thought, with their heart and uh, organizing with uh, the women and specifically also they are targeting uh, South Kurdistan because uh, in South Kurdistan, like the uh, Kurdish uh, women uh, could have uh, developed kind also of their state to their culture, to, to try to develop their own politics and own uh, also academical uh, work, but for sure all the forces that they don't want to see a democratic uh, possibility of woman freedom in, uh, in, in Kurdistan, they are trying to give obstacle to that. And so uh, for that also she has been targeted. So for us, it's very important we'll continue to spread genealogy to spread the project of genealogy in South Kurdistan, in all Kurdistan, all Middle East, and all over the world, and to show what is the truth of genealogy, of the woman's uh, science, and what is the truth of all these uh, powers that uh, want to break uh, the freedom of the people, the freedom of the Kurdish people, that the women are the vanguard of it. The women's freedom movement today we see that the slogan Jinjian Azadi has been spread in uh, in Iran, in all Middle East, in all the world also. Like today, every woman that are fighting, struggling against uh, patriarchal violence are uh, like telling this uh, slogan in all demonstration, in all social media, in all also like uh, we can say the political, social and academical uh, sphere also. So for sure, like all these attacks are not a casualty. Like all this attack, it's in order to, si to try to silence this revolution, to silence the woman, to, to give also like, uh, like terror to the people.